The impact that the sea bins have on the ocean directly relates to the own health of, of us, of, of us, all the humans, the people that live on Earth and the animals, because the oceans, they're our source of life. One in every three breaths of oxygen that we take is generated from the ocean. It makes sense that we should keep it clean. The sea bin is a part of a solution for plastics in the ocean. Each sea bin has the capacity to catch one to one and a half kilograms per day of debris. And over one year period, this is around a half a tonne of plastics is quite an important uh, technology because we can intercept the ocean plastics in the marinas before they enter the oceans. The first sea bins, like this one here, is designed for floating docks. And we put that in the marina in a very strategic location where the wind and the waves and the current is pushing into a corner where it accumulates and the sea bin is there and it is taking it. In 2015, I quit my job and I saved up all my money and I, I rented a factory where we are now. And I spent all my money on renovation and I was living here because I couldn't afford to live in a real house. And so I lived in the factory here for one year and a half. It's a very simple but effective technology. The inner component is moving up and down for when the water changes. And so the water, it comes in from the top. And so when that is full, we take this out and then we put a new one back in. In here, we also have uh, some oil absorption technology. And so we can collect the oil that is on the surface of the water. Estoy encargado del aspecto científico o de investigación de Sibin Project, puesto que creemos que a través de las Sibins podemos generar una, una cantidad de datos que pueden proporcionar una información muy valiosa para la mejor gestión de, de los residuos marinos. Aunque es muy importante recoger los macroplásticos que hay en el océano, ahora mismo no hay ninguna tecnología o tenemos una capacidad muy limitada de recoger los microplásticos que son, por su tamaño y sus características, los que más puedan estar eh, generando eh, disrupciones, pues, por ejemplo, en la cadena trófica. Estamos eh, analizando la capacidad que tienen las Sibins actualmente de, de recoger microplásticos y, en última instancia, eh, adaptar y pensar fórmulas y mejoras para que la Sibin pueda ir recogiendo cada vez menores tamaños de, de plásticos. We haven't started the sales of the Sibins yet. And so this month now, in uh, September 2017, is very important because next month we start the sales of the sea bins. So the strategy for the sea bin project to get the sea bins out onto the market and to start having an impact is we're targeting marinas, ports and yacht clubs around the world in the two to five years. We would like to scale up the sea bins. We would like to make them more efficient. We would like to catch nanoplastics and microfibers. The real solution for the team, for us at Seabin, is to educate ourselves to be better. And when we say this, we mean um, if we can teach the children and school kids and the youth to, to not buy single-use plastics, to not throw it away, to recycle, then we wouldn't have any need for the sea bins because we wouldn't have a, prob uh, a problem. So the real solution is education and not technology.